Hi! Today we're going to solve quadratic equations by extracting square roots. Quadratic equation of this form, x squared is equal to k, can be solved by extracting square roots. So we have to know the properties to be applied in solving quadratic equation of this form. So uh, number one, if k is greater than zero, then x squared equals to k has two real solutions or roots. So that is, x is equal to positive or negative square root of k. Number two, if k is equal to zero, then it has only one solution, which is x is equal to zero. Number three, if k is less than zero, then it has no solution. Okay, so let us have example. So find the solutions of the equation x squared minus 9 equals to 0 by extracting square roots. So given this x squared minus 9 equals to 0, our first step is you have to rewrite this in the form x squared equals to k. So what are you going to do is you have to make use of the addition property of equality since that you have want to remove negative 9. So you add 9 to both sides of the equation. So we have x squared minus 9 plus 9 then equals to 0 plus 9. Then we all know that negative 9 plus 9 that is 0. So you will just write x squared equals to 9. Then get the square root of both sides. So we have a square root of x squared that is x. Then equals to square root of 9 that is positive or negative 3. Now, these are the values of x. If you want to check if your answer is correct, then you have to substitute positive and then negative 3 to the original equation. Okay. So if x is equal to positive 3, then we have x squared minus 9 equals to 0. x is equal to 3, so substitute. 3 squared minus 9 equals to 0. Then 3 squared is 9. Minus 9 equals to 0. 9 minus 9, that is 0. Then equals to 0. If x is equal to negative 3, then, again, substitute it to the original equation. We have negative 3 squared minus 9 equals to 0. The negative 3 squared, that is positive 9. Then minus 9 equals to 0. So, we have 0 equals to 0. So, notice that the values of x, both values of x satisfy the given equation. So, this equation, x squared minus 9, is true when x is equal to 3 and then when x is equal to negative 3. Therefore, we can say that the equation x squared minus 9 has two solutions, which are positive 3 and then 3. So here the solutions the solutions are x equals to 3 and then x is equal to negative 3. Number 2 if we have let's say we have m squared equals to 0. So notice that m squared is equal to 0. So if k is equal to 0 from the property that we have learned a while ago, then the quadratic equation has only one solution, which is 0. So here, if you're going to make use of the process, we have m squared equals to 0. Get the square root of both sides. So we have m is equal to 0. Therefore, the solution is, the solution is 0. m is equal to 0. Okay, number 3 example. Let's say we have x squared plus 25 equals to 0. So again, our first step is you have to write that into a standard form x squared equals to k. Now, we are, we are going to make use of the subtraction property of equality. So we have x squared plus 25 minus 25 equals to 0 minus 25. Then, that is 0. So, we have x squared is equal to negative 25. Now, notice that the value of k here 
is less than zero. Therefore, uh, from the property, again, from the property that we have learned a while ago, that if k is less than zero, then it has no real solution. So, we can say here that, or therefore, we can say that the equation has no real solution. The equation x squared um, x squared plus 25 equals to 0 has no real solutions or roots. Okay, let us have a recap of our topic for today. Now, uh, solving quadratic equations by extracting square roots. So, we can use that method only if the quadratic equation is of the form x squared equals to k. So, you have to remember the properties that if k is greater than 0, then the equation has two real solutions. That is, x is equal to positive or negative square root of k. Now, if k is equal to 0, then um, it has only one real solution or root. That is, x is equal to 0. Then, if k is less than 0, we have negative numbers. Then, it has no real solutions. Solutions or roots. So, that's it for today. Now, if you want more examples, go to my next video, part 2 of solving quadratic equations by extracting square roots. So, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.